Growing up in Southern California, George Shushkoff couldn't help but be in the water. By his own admission, swimming was the only sport in which he saw progress. I grew up a lot around the water. I think I had my first wetsuit at eight years old, uh, water skiing, body surfing, stuff like that. So there was an ad in the paper for a local swim team. My parents said, what do you think about trying this out? I said, yeah, it sounds like fun. Now he measures progress differently. Even though he holds two state master's records, the camaraderie and exercise have become more important than what any clock might say. I've come to terms with the times will not be, again, you know, what they were in my peak. Sushkoff has done dozens of swimming events to raise money for various charities and organizations. He once swam 10 miles in the Tennessee River and has taken part in Richmond's Swim Across America event, which raises money for the Massey Cancer Center. He has been there to support friends who have been diagnosed with different versions of cancer, but he never thought of his contributions as being all that remarkable. I remember being there listening to the uh, researchers talk. There was a friend of mine who was speaking who was a breast cancer survivor and remember just thinking, well, it, it's great that it helped her, but uh, I'm just going to be helping other people. Until he got a call from his doctor after a routine screening. Can you meet with the surgeon tomorrow? I said, oh, that sounds urgent. Uh, and then it was that Friday that they told me that you know, they kind of broke it gently, said, well, we got the pathology back and it did come back as, as cancerous. Sushkoff had been diagnosed with stage two colon cancer. It's, it's a shock. You know, I was never expecting that. Luckily, it was caught early, but it's in a bad location for surgery. Suddenly that, that changes your outlook on everything. George was swimming four times a week, something he was unwilling to give up. If I can't swim, we're going to have a problem. I need that for my physical health. I need it for my mental health, too. Within hours of his diagnosis, Sushkoff received a phone call from the CEO of Swim Across America and quickly started to understand why all those events and fundraising were so important. I knew that they funded uh, the cancer research and uh, uh, clinical trials and things like that. What I didn't know was they, they also did uh, patient advocacy. Swim Across America helped George get a second opinion on his diagnosis and treatment, all without him having to make so much as a phone call. He now receives regular radiation treatments at the Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute at Henrico Doctors Hospital. Yes. And has received a whole new perspective on what swimming has not only done for him, but for thousands of others like him. In that group, there are several cancer survivors and they've gone on to do some amazing things. There's one that's going to swim the English Channel next year, one that's on the 28 bridges around Manhattan. How cool is that? It's a lot of fun but it's also inspiring. I, I've seen that they, they were able to come out of this on the other end and, and you know do even even more amazing things uh, after the treatment, after the diagnosis, after uh, you know being in remission. George has had to dial back on his swimming a bit but his doctors have advised him to stay active and listen to his body. He hopes others might listen to his story. And by the way, get your screenings, everybody. They're, they're life-saving. Right? If they feel like they are taking on this fight alone. I'm hoping people will be inspired to try to keep not life as normal as possible, to stay active, seek out your friends, lean on your friends, you know, your family. You're going to need that. You're not going to be alone. I don't feel like I'm alone in this whole process.